A few months ago, I went to the Lord Movie Theater with my girlfriend. We were there to see Horton Hears a Moon. While munching on some popcorn and sipping our sodas, we passed the time looking at those free movie stills you see on the big screen. Images that have not been changed since forever. Yes, I know. Dane Cook would rather do brain surgery than start stand-up again. And I agree. Advertising your tanning booth business at the movie theater is an excellent investment. But then one still appeared. One image lit up the screen and grabbed my attention. In giant letters, it read, University of Hawaii at Mano. Discover yourself. Five years ago, I left Hawaii for school on the mainland. There, I learned very little. <laughs> I am sorry to say. I was shy, and I felt I wasted my time, my efforts, and my talents. The next year, I returned to Hawaii and attended UH, and it must have been the sunshine. Because here at UH, I discovered my skill for writing and became a journalism major. I discovered my passion to perform and received a minor in theater. I met people who understood me and challenged me and helped me understand myself. UH provided so many opportunities for us to reach out, expand, criticize, and question. Whatever the ideals and experiences of yours, the ambitions that got you up every morning, that kept you jotting down notes throughout class, whether it was for business, medicine, art, or science. This institution welcomed you in and nurtured your individuality. I smiled at the screen and knew it was true. UH has helped us discover ourselves. I can confidently say that everyone here has found something new about themselves. Whether we realized it through staring down a microscope, holding a protest, or writing a screenplay. For me, I rediscovered aspects of myself that I had forgotten. At UH, I took Samoan as a second language. Now I know what my dad is saying when he yells at me. <laughs> it was quite a discovery. <laughs> but UH got me in touch with my family, my heritage, the people who came before me, and I discovered a new world from it. I even did things at UH I thought I'd never do. For one whole semester, I took yoga and aerobics <laughs> and discovered my body hates yoga and aerobics. No offense to them, but this sole was not meant to bend and twist like Plato. I know I would not even be up here if it weren't for professors like Beverly Keeper, Paul Mitri, and Tom Grizzly. And friends who are there just to listen, discuss, and have fun with. I would like to give thanks to God for this occasion. <laughs> This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We, the class of 2008, should be thankful for all those who believe we can do great things in our lives. This day not only recognizes our efforts, our sacrifices, our perseverance, but also the support we receive from our loved ones. We are grateful that they are a part of this occasion. Hi, Mom. Hello, Dad.
As for the graduating class, I hope you felt the same way I have about this university. Some of the best things in my life happened between Miami Way, Dole Street, and University Avenue. Graduates, we came here to find ourselves. We triumphed. We succeeded. Yes, I am surprised myself. <laughs> Everyone, this is a wonderful day to celebrate. Our journey through those long semesters, those morning exams, those term papers due at noon, those late nights at Hamilton, those later nights at Magoo's. It's <laughs> <laughs> finally complete. What we brought here was multiplied tenfold by UH. Our ideas, our ambitions, our Oh, wow. Our independence, they grew, they evolved, they flourished in so many ways. What we brought here and what we found here at the University of Hawaii was tremendous and will help us continue to discover ourselves for the rest of our lives. Chihu and thank you. <laughs>